Sylvia here from Consorting Private Wealth and I'm Amy who also works here with me at Consorting Private Wealth and today we're going to talk about um, if you want to become a financial advisor and the, the education and training path that you need to take. I'm going to interview and talk to Amy about it because she's actually on her professional year right now. So Amy, can you maybe explain to us some of the steps that you need to take to join the industry now? So I went straight from high school to university and I went into a four year course, Bachelor of Business, majoring in financial planning and accounting, just because at the time I wasn't sure which path I wanted to take. But obviously I chose to do financial planning, so I went, finished a four year degree, fully qualified, and now I'm here starting my professional year, which is a legal requirement to take before you can become a financial advisor. So that professional year is a one, you got to complete 1,600 hours full-time. Structured training and it, um, on the job. So 1,500 hours of that is supervised. Supervised work activities. So that's yeah. all client-based work, just like a general financial planner would almost as a shadowing act. And you also have to complete 100 hours of structured training. So that's non-client related, full education material. And in that professional year, it's structured to break down into four quarters and by the third quarter, you must complete your FASER exam, which is also a legal requirement. All financial advisors must complete, regardless of if they're a new entrant or not. Just to elaborate on the FASER exam, that's the Financial Advisor Standards and Ethic Authority that was established back in 2017, and that was to set um, the education, training, and ethical standards in our industry that we're seeing here. And a lot of this was all part of the um, Royal Commission look back into our industry as well. So Amy, if someone didn't want to do the double degree like you did with financial advising and accounting, yep. how many years would that degree be? Generally people would just do a three year degree which would only major in financial planning, but there's a list of approved degrees on the ASIC website that you can search through all university degrees pretty much with Bachelor of Business majoring in financial planning though are going to be on that list. And, and is it true to say that that's the only way to get into our industry now is by having a degree qualified? Yes, so it used to be you could go and get a diploma first and then work your way through like you would have done. Yeah, so um, bridging courses and yeah. that type of thing but now it's all yeah. entrants are just full degree. Yeah. So moving forward everyone will have to have a bachelor degree to join the industry, which is good, I suppose. So usually it takes about 12 months, the professional year? Yep, so 1,600 hours is equivalent to a full working year. So it, does, it will take the full year, and then obviously you've got holidays and stuff, so you can slow it down and go over the year limit. It doesn't have to be done in 365 days. You just must have 1,600 hours. Well, good luck for the rest of your professional year, and I'm glad to have you on the team at Consortium. Yeah, thanks, Amy.